the night, you're the color of my blood You're the cure, you're the pain, you're the only thing I want to touch Hi guys, peace, I don't know why I did it Welcome back to my channel um, Today I'm going to be talking about my uh, Breast biopsy experience Yes, I did so, backtrack two years ago, I was in the shower, doing my thing, found a lump, not found a lump, I found a lump, I felt a lump, and started freaking out, and I ignored it for a few months, then it started to hurt. I went to the doctor, she told me, most likely you don't have cancer, because you're so young. So, she told me, hey, I think you should just go and do an ultrasound. So, I went and did an ultrasound and uh, she told me, hey, it's, uh, I don't think it's, you know, anything to worry about. I got the results back and um, the doctor looked at it. She's like, you know, I don't, you know, I don't think it's cancer and stuff. I think you just should monitor it, like. Every six to a year, you should do another um, biopsy. So I was like, okay. So she gave me another requisition to do a biopsy. Uh, I mean, ultrasound. And um, everyone knows what's an ultrasound. It's just like a machine. They glide it across you and they take like photos. Um, so a year has passed and the requisition has expired. And I'm scared and I don't. I'm like trying to avoid doing this this ultrasound because back of my head I'm thinking I have cancer I'm gonna die and so it's like in and out in the year my boobs tend to hurt when I have my period and it got a little more painful and I was like you know what I should just go ahead and do the second second one but I don't know I just felt scared and I told my mom and my mom was like you know, know what you should go ahead and do it because you should just do it and she got scared and uh, I don't know man so I went to the clinic and I told her hey my requisition has expired and I need to do another ultrasound for my boob she's like okay no problem here's another requisition I did the ultrasound and um she said, you know what, it looks like it's it's growing, it's getting bigger. And I was like, what the hell, it's getting bigger? Oh, what the fuck, I'm like freaking out. She's like, you know what, don't worry, I think uh, you should go see a specialist. I'm going to refer you to a specialist and see what they say. So, um, to get an appointment to see a specialist, it takes some time. So I had to wait like a month. So I waited like a month, I got a call to go see the specialist, um, she got the copies of the two ultrasounds and she said, you know what, it grew a bit, so um, let me take a look. So I had to take off my clothes and you know, you do the usual, you lift your arm up and she presses, it's the same thing as you're doing your, like, your self breast exam, so she did it. She's like, interesting, and I told her, if it, it feels weird when you like press and um, and I don't know like I just felt so scared and uh, she said you know what I think we should do a biopsy it's a core biopsy if you don't know what a biopsy is it's like a, a it's like a needle and they take small tissue samples of where they want it like it could be a breast it could be Anywhere a part of your body your brain and stuff like that uh, tumors and stuff. So I Was like, okay um, We'll do the core biopsy uh, So I had to wait like two weeks three weeks. I think I had to pass my period because When you have your period it tends to hurt more and you don't want to like, you know so Day of biopsy my uncle took me I stayed overnight by him and we both went because my mom's not here my dad's not here 
So, and then my husband, he had to, he had to work. And uh, he really wanted to take me, but I told him, you know what, don't miss work, go. And um, I'll be fine. So I said to my uncle, my uncle took me. So I had to check in as like an inpatient doing surgery. And when I went, I had to sit a bit. And then a nurse called me. And my uncle was outside waiting for me. So I'm like in the waiting room, like the, you know, surgery room. It's not like surgery, surgery, but it's like kind of like mini surgery room. So the nurse came in and said, like, hi, um, how are you? I was like, oh, I'm good. I'm just, you know, nervous for, for what's about to happen. She's like, you know, don't worry. Everything's going to be okay. Um, so she told me, you know, okay, this is what you need to do. You need to take off everything, waist up and remove your shoes and just sit on this chair here i was like okay she's like i'll be right back she went and then the doctor came in with her and hell just started so uh, i was doing a core biopsy a core biopsy is like it's it's a it's a needle and they press on the area and they okay the one she did it was like a uh, needle and you press and you press a button and you, the needle shoots like sh you can hear the click and click and, it, and the needle goes in that area where they need to take the tissue from so she's like okay this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna um, numb the area I was like okay when you're saying numbing are you using numbing cream or are you gonna like inject me she's like oh I have to inject you I was like okay okay Ugh. I'm not afraid of needles it's just that <sighs> that area like it's your your breast is already sensitive and imagine you're gonna get needles stuck inside of you in that area so I'm like lying there my like my this is my left arm up and she presses down and then she has the needle and she injects injects the anesthetics anesthesia anesthetics anesthesia okay but you're gonna be awake for the whole procedure so yeah so she did like two twice the, uh, around the boob so it can numb it's gonna be numbed but I don't think it helped at all because I felt the pain and she's like okay so she's pressing and I'm like already crying I telling you like okay this thing hurts she's like do you want to wait like next week and I told her like you know what I'm already here let's just get it over with so I'm like lying there and she's like pressing pressing down like her fingers were between the, the lump she's like pressing down cuz she said something it moves and I don't want to like you know and and I didn't I didn't get the tissue the sample so the first time she did it I was like I cried I was like oh my god it hurt and the nurse on the other side, she like held my hand. She's like, "Don't cry, you know." And when she, when you hear that clicking sound, it's like, "Oh my God, it hurts!" Click, and then you feel like something jabbing inside of you, like really fast. And she's like, "Okay, I got a sample, but I want to take another one just in case." So she did it again. Click, crying. And yelling in the room and my uncle's outside so I think he probably can hear me screaming or crying she's like you know the nurse is trying to comfort me she's like you know you're very brave don't forget to breathe and I was like I was like holding my breath because I'm I don't know like freaking out so the doctor did it again the third time she's like um, I didn't get enough I was like okay just do it one more time like I, I can't take the pain so she dabbed me one more time so it's four times already now she dabs me she got the sample um, before they they do the like the thing they cut a little they take it in a small incision where the lump is and then she jabs you yeah afterwards she like put cotton wool and taped me up and you know those kind of things and she told me um, don't shower for don't get it wet for three days 
and you can change your bandage in a week and um, I'll call you when the results is here and I and then like wipe my tears and nurses like you know you're very brave I've seen older women come in here and they've been worse and you took four jabbings so I was like thanks and like I start putting back my clothes on and stuff like that and she went and I asked her oh can I see the sample what it looks like and she showed me it's like a really tiny 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 sample it was like four little dots floating inside the tube the container my uncle's like are you okay I heard you like screaming crying I was like not really but I'll be okay so my uncle took me home my uncle took me home I called my mom I told her you know I finished the biopsy and stuff now I just have to wait then after um, my husband he came and picked me up the day after and um, my boobs were so swollen I felt my boob was like a B cup I have A and I think it's so like to a B cup I was like I wish I had a B cup <laughs> but it hurt my experience is not that bad but I did cry because you know you're freaking out I'm like I don't know what the hell is happening to me so after um, a week and a half or something the doctor called and she told me oh okay your results is back I need you to come and the results I do not have cancer so I was happy about that I was so relieved that I do not have cancer um, but I do still have the lump and it's gonna be there um, she told me in August you need to do another ultrasound to see whether it's growing again um, she said if it doesn't bother you that much you can just live with it I was like um, maybe we'll see so my another ultrasound is in August I'll do an ultrasound there and she said you know if it does bother you we'll just have to remove it but she doesn't want to remove like do unnecessary surgery so we'll see in august what happens and um my recovery time from the biopsy was pretty fast it was just like maybe a few like um in a week so i couldn't lift my left arm that was it but everything else i could do normal now i'm fine i did my biopsy uh the beginning of this year and I'm okay so now we just have to wait in August to do the third ultrasound and see what's up so yeah so my advice to you girls out there go and do your mammogram do your self breast exam if you do find a lump you know don't worry just go step by step and uh, just hope for the best so I know I was a freaking maniac but afterwards I realized whatever has to happen will happen and everything's gonna be okay and I had a great support group my 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 family my husband and stuff who took care of me it wasn't a big surgery like a big thing but you know at that point of time I was really scared so girls check your ladies out check your goodies no matter how big or small they are just check them every year do your mammogram when you're home in the shower just do a fast little thing check it out and um you'll be fine so i guess that's the end of my video hope you guys enjoyed it um hope you guys I don't know learned something about it so be happy be kind and um, I'll see you guys in my next video bye